Celebrating all dogs this week, our seniors deserve a little extra love. We have a veterinarian here to tell us why. Dr. Kelly Karens is the Vice President of Medical Excellence and Education at Thrive Pet Healthcare. Healthcare. Uh, good morning to you and thank you for coming on the show. So the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals says only one-fourth of older dogs are adopted, putting them at risk for being put down. But a lot of experts say it's actually more beneficial to adopt senior dogs. So walk our viewers through the benefits. Thanks so much for having me today. You know, adopting an older dog confers a ton of benefits, not only for the dog, but also for the pet parent. We often find that senior dogs come with well-established temperaments. They're often already trained. They may also be calmer. And it's really incredibly rewarding to know you're giving them a second chance at a happy life, considering that oftentimes folks are adopting puppies. So just like humans, pets are susceptible to developing arthritis as they get older. Uh, so what signs should we be looking out for if we have an older pet at home? It's really important for folks to understand that osteoarthritis is very common. We think it impacts about one in five older dogs and about 60% of older cats. It's basically an age-related degenerative change to the joints that can result in significant pain, reducing quality of life. The most common signs we see in dogs would include reduced activity, maybe falling behind on that daily walk, reluctance to use the stairs, or stiffness after rest. Now, cats can be a little harder to assess, tendency to hide pain there. Uh, we want to be incredibly vigilant with them as well. It's also important to note that if you notice any change in behavior, mobility, or any increased vocalization, that could signal pain in your dog and should prompt a veterinary checkup. So no matter how old our animals are, veterinarian bills, they can add up and they can add up fast. <laughs> what are some cost-saving tips that you recommend uh, to your patients? There are four tips I have for pet parents in their toolkit to give their pets a great quality of life whilst minimizing the cost. The first thing I wanna stress is proactive wellness care, partnering with your veterinarian. This is key. We need to see you regularly at least once a year for a visit including a complete physical exam and routine diagnostic testing that's gonna allow us to identify health problems early. And that detection gives us the best chance to help your pet live longer and feel good and often afford us the chance to minimize the cost because we've identified and intervened early. I would also strongly recommend that pet parents enroll in a membership program through their veterinarian to cover routine care and emergencies, especially for senior pets because they do benefit from more frequent checkups. So a membership program like Thrive Plus will offer free exams, discounted diagnostic testing, routine procedures, procedures, and even nail trims. <laughs> and that's designed to give you peace of mind to allow that care to be more affordable and therefore accessible. I strongly recommend that all pet parents purchase pet insurance as soon as they welcome that new family member into the household. There's a ton of great plans. Talk to your veterinarian and enroll right away. And last but not least, I recommend that if needed, you consider utilizing something called care credit as a resource to manage out-of-pocket expenses, which would offer flexible financing to bridge a gap in a time of need. All right. Thank you so much for those tips, Dr. Kelly Karens. Thank you. Thank you. We are dog lovers. Yeah. We <laughs> this end of the table. Yeah. I actually had two, over, sen I, I had two senior dogs. Uh, one, uh, Jinx, I had for 16 years. Wow. She passed away at 16. Spaz, I had for 18 years. Wow. Literally adult. How old is dog. Kane? Kane is five. Okay, so, you so my dogs stay for the long time. There's Kane right there. <laughs> oh, so he's super so cute. cute. But, but that's a remarkable Jinx track record. I have two both. different dogs for almost 20 years. Jack Russell Terriers. They live along that that breed lives long. And it is, so people are like, oh, it's a dog. After 18 years, oh, I've no, invested a, a lot of that dog, <laughs> surgeries, food, whatever, education. Graduate degrees. Oh, there's puppy. my puppy. Oh, so her name is Piper. So I, I named her after uh, one of the characters um, in Orange is the New Black. Yeah. Alex and Piper were the two main characters, oh, and I got her when I was binge watching that. Oh, so that's nice. where her name come from, came from. But I got her from a shelter. Going forward, I'm only getting senior dogs. Yeah. Yeah. For you. They need a help. Great. Too. Salute to the homeowner. <laughs> <laughs>